Hey everyone, welcome back to In Sale Week where I'm uploading a new video here on my channel every single week covering the best of the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Today's video is dedicated to all of you shoe lovers out there or for anyone currently interested in shopping shoes in the sale. This video will be your ultimate guide on sizing, how to style, and all of that good stuff. Before we get started, definitely check out the description box for more. I have your ultimate shopping guide there where I went through every single page and pulled my favorites, organized them super easy to make it easy to browse the sale. I also have an in-sale lookbook where I curated 125 outfit ideas from the sale and I've actually done three editions of that and you can access all of them, which would be over 350 outfit ideas, so you don't wanna miss it. I have that linked for you down below. Before we get started with the shoes, I wanna share my personal sizing, just in case that helps you reference them and figure out how to get the best size for you. My goal with this video is to help you avoid returns because with the sale, things sell out so quickly. So by the time you get them, you don't wanna have to switch it off for a different size and end up finding that it sold out. All right, starting with booties, I'll go through all the booties that I picked up to try from the sale. And those are definitely my favorite shoes to shop for the fall season. I find that I get a lot of wear out of them because I can use them to start transitioning earlier in the fall season all the way through the spring season. The first booty I wanna talk about is my personal favorite that I picked up this year in the sale. This is from Mark Fisher. They have had a version of this shoe every single year and I finally pulled the trigger on them. At first I thought they would be too dressy for my more casual wardrobe, but I don't find that that's the case now that I've styled them. I think they look so chic with jeans. They're definitely slightly more elevated. They are a leather, which I think makes them easier to dress up. And this gorgeous blush color, I just could not resist. This boot is very modern. It has a sleek pointed toe. The heel height is three inches and then the shaft height is four inches. It does have a genuine leather upper and then a synthetic lining and synthetic leather sole. This year they offer this booty in five colors. There are two black colors, a gold, a white, and then this beautiful blush. Of course, my two personal favorites are the white and blush. With this booty, I think you can dress it up really nice, even for work wear if you want to pair it with dresses and work slacks. I personally love it styled a little more casually with some straight leg jeans. That is how I styled it a ton in my part two try on haul if you want to check that out for outfit ideas styling these. But I think these are much more versatile than I originally thought and by far my favorite booty that I purchased this year in the sale. In this shoe, I got my normal boot size, size nine, and it does fit a little more narrow in the toe. So if you have a wider foot, I would recommend to size up. This boot retails for $1.99, but in the sale, you can get it now for $1.29, which gives you a total savings of 34% off. Next boot is this one from Dolce Vita. This is the studded Western boot. They do also have this booty style in a non-studded version if you're looking for a more suede, type of booty. This one I think is a little more trendy depending on what you're looking for. It's really no secret that Western has been a trending fashion trend kind of emerging the past couple of years and it's something that I haven't really tried recently. So I wanted to give these a try. They do also have a taller version that I will share here next. In the sale, the booty is 35% off. So it will go up to $200 after the sale, but right now you can get it for $129.90. The heel height on this one is a little bit lower. It's two and a fourth inch heel height. It does have little studs on them. They are silver tone. It does have a leather upper and then synthetic sole and insert as well. I am personally excited to style these with dresses. I think that's gonna be so cute with floral dresses, which is something I wear on repeat, especially as we're transitioning between seasons. So I think this is a great shoe to help you transition because it's lower, it's actually roomy as well on the ankle, so it won't be too hot. You can slip them off and on easy with the zipper. Size-wise, these do run big. I got my normal size nine in boots, and these are definitely way too big, even with like a thick sock my foot is moving around a ton so for me I need a size down at least a half size in these comparing the width to the Mark Fisher you can see the Mark Fisher is definitely more narrow which is why I do recommend to size up a half size if you have a wider foot this one definitely accommodates a little bit more of a wide foot as well as like a wider ankle as well if you have a hard time 
um, finding booties that have a little bit more width to them these definitely do you can see there in comparison how much more room the Dolce Vita boots do have I do need to reorder my half size so I need to wear them around a little bit more one thing I do want to mention the these it could just be how they're stored you can see they're kind of squished a little bit through here so I'm wondering if this is going to bother my ankle because it does come up higher on the ankle. I think with time once they do break in a little bit you can kind of manipulate the leather to fit a little bit wider on the ankle and that won't be an issue but just something I do want to point out. I did want to quickly highlight this booty which is one of the more affordable booty options in the sale. Full price this booty will retail for $79.95 after the sale but right now you can get it for $54.99 which is a savings of 31% off. I have actually owned this booty, not this exact booty, but a previous style from BP. And I have to say, quality wise, they aren't comparable. The ones that I've had previously have definitely had better quality. For full price, I definitely don't think these are worth it. I would recommend to spend a little bit more for something a little more of like a genuine suede just to have more comfort there. Um, when I look up close, like the texture of the suede does remind me of boots and booties that you can get at Target and Walmart for much less. It could just be the color that I got because I did see the white or like the lighter version of these boots and they looked much better quality. So it could just be this color specifically. The block heel height is three inches and it's a very like thick block heel. So these are definitely going to be very comfortable and easy to walk in because you have a lot of heel support. And then the shaft of the boot is four inches. It does have the slit here, which I get a lot of questions about what socks I wear with boots like this. Typically, like I said, I don't wear socks, but if you do want to wear socks, I would recommend to wear a ballet sock, like the the loafer type of work socks. I'll link the ones that I use down below, um, but I have worn those before and they do not show with any of the slits in boots. I do find that boots with slits like this are easier to style because with jeans and things like that, they can still kind of tuck in a little bit to the booty without it cutting you off because you get some skin coming through. So for these, I typically reach for them when I'm going to wear them with jeans and of course dresses as well. Next booty is the Steve Madden booty in the sale and I'm really glad that they didn't do the same repeat booty that we've seen in years past. This is a little bit different, has slightly more Western feel to them. These are my personal favorite casual boot out of all of the ones in the sale. I just feel like it's really flattering on the ankle and it's also super soft and I love the color as well. This booty is available in five different colors. They have the sand suede, which is the one that I currently have. They have the pink leather. There's a chestnut suede, bone multi, and then black multi, which has a combination of black suede and leather. This booty also has a pretty substantial blocked heel, which again makes them very comfortable and easy to walk in. The heel compared to the last one is a little bit higher. It's a 3.5 inch heel, and then also has a four inch shaft. With Steve Madden shoes, I find that they always run small and I'm always needing to size up. So I would say sizing up is my normal size with Steve Madden. So I got these in a size nine and I definitely can't wear them with a sock. So I would definitely recommend a size up. And if you have a wider foot, I would recommend a size up a full size in these from your typical size. Here is how the point and the width of the shoe compares. This is the BP version. So you can see the Steve Madden are definitely pointier and a little bit more narrow. And then this is the booty that they've had, I think the past three in sales. So if you have this booty, I just wanted to compare the color to this new lighter neutral, just so you can see. And also the cutout is definitely a little bit different. This one is much wider, whereas this one has a little bit more of like a sharp edge overall. When I say sharp edge, I mean like this is definitely sharper and then the point it's also much sharper and you can see there how much more narrow this shoe is. So again, if you have a wide foot, highly recommend sizing up a full size in these. I have so many light booties that I did want to give a different color a try. So I ordered the chestnut, but I have to say it's just not my style. I have a very light and airy style and I just can't do it. I do prefer the lighter. I know I won't reach for these. So I'm going to be returning these, but I did want to share the color comparison side by side in case you are torn and you do prefer lighter booties. I just know 
between the two, I'm gonna reach for this one much more. I did order the Vince Camuto booty. It has not arrived yet, so I will share my thoughts on that one if it doesn't show up today over on my Instagram. So if you're not following me yet on Instagram, that's where you can find daily sale coverage, restock alerts, and of course, like daily everyday life too. I did also venture way out of my comfort zone and wanted to give the popular like chunky Chelsea boot a try. Decided these again aren't for me, which is totally okay. Just because something's trendy doesn't mean it's gonna work for everyone. But I just feel like these are just too clunky for my style. They are very practical if you need like a heavy duty shoe that you can wear like in not so great weather with a thick sole, then I can totally see why these are a practical shoe choice. But for me, I know I'm not gonna get a ton of wear out of these. They do run big, so I got my normal boot size, size nine, and my foot moves around a 10. Even if I wanted to wear a thick winter sock with these, I would need a size down. So sizing wise, I would recommend a size down, a half size, especially if you're in between sizes. All right, the last booty that I purchased to try, well, is this one from Sam Edelman, and this is definitely a trendier option if you're looking to mix it up in your wardrobe for the fall season. So again, that same kind of Western touch to it without being too, you know, over the top or like too costumey. So it does have this little braided detail here, which I love. Very chunky heel. The heel on this one is three and a half inches. So this one has been the tallest booty out of the bunch. And then the boot shaft is five and three fourths inches. So definitely comes up a little bit higher. This booty comes in three colors this year. You can pick it up in black. This is the sesame color, which is the same color as the tall boot that they carried last year. And then you can also get them in this warm copper, which is a leather versus the other two being a suede. During the sale, you can save 33% off. These are currently $149.99. And after the sale, they're gonna be $225, which is pretty pricey, especially for booties. Usually taller boots run in that price range. So definitely something to consider. If you love these, I would definitely not wait until they go full price. All right, switching gears a little bit, let's talk about the tall boots in the sale. First boot, this is the Dolce Vita Western boot, and there is actually a more affordable version of this style in the sale. I think it retailed for like 66. So if you are not wanting to invest too much in the Western trend, I will link that one down below. But I have been eyeing these from Dolce Vita like full price for the last year. In the sale, they have five different colors. This is the Dune. Then they have a black leather, silver metallic suede, whiskey, and white leather. After the sale ends, these will retail for $260, but in the sale, you can pick them up for $169.99 for a total savings of 34% off. And I have also seen a lot of look for less options to this boot on Amazon as well. So if you are looking for the best like budget-friendly option, I will link the Amazon version below. Just like the shorter booty version, these also run really big. I would say size-wise, they're pretty much the exact same. So I got a nine and they are way too big. I definitely need to size down in these. These have a half zipper on the inside and do have a slightly wider fit through the leg. I was reading through the, de the description of these, however, and it says it does have a narrow calf, which I personally didn't find to be the case. I guess I have like smaller calves, I'm not sure. So the heel height on these are a little bit lower. These are two and one fourth inch height. The shaft is 17 and a half inches. They do come up like and round a little bit. So they sit right on, like my kneecap kind of sits right here in the middle of these. And then the calf circumference is 14 inches. With these boots in particular, I see myself wearing them mostly with like leggings or tighter fitting jeans and slouchy sweaters. It's kind of how I envision wearing them. And then of course with dresses as well. If you're looking for a Western tall boot that is slightly less trendy, and what I mean by that is this one has like the Western texture on it, then this pair from Vince Camuto is one to consider. It's a really soft, like genuine suede material has a chunky heel. The blocked heel height is three inches on this one, so it's slightly higher than the Dolce Vita. The shaft on this boot is 16 and a half inches, and then the calf circumference is much wider. This one's 15 inches. On my calf, these definitely fit very wide. They. I feel like they're kind of intended to sit a little wider and more casual. My kneecap, again, sits right here in the middle, right underneath this little notch here. 
these do zip up all the way so they're definitely really easy to get off and on and good news if you do need a wide calf option then these are available in wide calf Unfortunately, they don't have the wide calf circumference listed on the website, which would be very helpful, but they do come in wide calf. Comparing them, this is the Dolce Vita. This is the Vince Camuto. These are definitely pointier. If you have a wider foot, I highly recommend to size up in these, but do keep in mind that shoe designers do accommodate the sizing for the pointed toe. So if you have a narrow foot, I would stick with your normal size. These boots in the sale come in three colors. You can find them in black, mountain gray and tortilla. It is important to note that the wide calf is only available in the black and the tortilla color. After the sale, the price of these will be $239, but right now you can get them for $159.99 in the sale, giving you a 33% off savings. All right, next up, let's talk about this boot. This was the number one boot on my wish list. I love to get a tall boot in the sale. I actually will show y'all a couple of the ones I have previously in case you have those and you're wondering how they compare. These are also available in a wide calf in this color. I know the ivory doesn't come in, that, in the wide calf version, but if you do need the wider calf option, these also do come in that. They also have a full zipper up the inside of the shoe. In the sale, you can find these in a black leather, creamy white, deep green, root beer, which is a very deep, pretty chocolate brown, and then this is the color tortilla. What makes these so fun is definitely the heel. It's a little bit more of a narrow heel as well, but you still get the support this way, so it looks very much like a stiletto heel from the back, but it's not you know, a full on stiletto. You still get a little bit more of a wider base. The heel height on these is three and one fourth inch. The shaft of the boot is 15 inches and then the calf circumference is also 15 inches as well. So they do say that this is a leather upper and then synthetic insole. I did pull out my booty. I think this is the one from 2020 from Vince Camuto to compare the material. And these are definitely like a softer suede material, whereas these have a little bit more of like a texture to them. I don't know if my microphone's going to pick up that noise. These did fit much more narrow through the leg, whereas these do have a slightly wider shaft at the top. And then these do also have more stretch to them in general compared to these. These had a really close fit on the ankle. And then here's how the bottom of the shoes compare. So I feel like they are very similar. This one has a little bit more of an exaggerated point and it goes into a square. If you do have a wider foot, I highly recommend to size up a full size in these. I got a nine. They fit great, but I wouldn't want to wear a thicker sock with these. All right, next is the Sam Edelman tall boot. This one retails for $159 in the sale, which is $10 less than the Vince Camuto one that I just shared. So this one will go up to $250 after the sale for a total savings of 36% off, which is a little bit of a higher savings value than some of the other boots that I've shared. These boots come in five colors in the sale. You can find them in black leather, black suede, copper leather, sangria red leather, which is a very unique color. I don't think I've ever seen a tall boot in this color. And then they also have the warm oat suede, which is the color that I have here. If you are looking for a lower heel tall boot, this is definitely the one for you. It has a two and a half inch heel height, almost like a little bit of a kitten heel, which I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe does have a pointed toe. The description says it's a synthetic or leather upper, which I find very confusing because I don't know how it could be both. So let me know. Um, but the material is very soft. I would say this is the softest option out of the bunch. They are very comparable to the Sam Edelman high boot. I have had this one for a couple years and it's one of my most worn boots because it's very comfortable. They're pretty much the same type of really soft material. You can see the color difference there in case you do own these. This one's much lighter. I feel like color wise, I love the lightness of these. This is it in comparison to the Vince Camuto. So you can see this one has a taller shaft and is a lot lighter in color. So if you are petite, that's definitely something to consider. This one may be a better option for you. So these actually don't have like the measurements online, which is annoying, but you can definitely see comparatively that this one does have a, a taller 
shaft to it. And then they seem to be pretty comparable. So I would say this one is probably 15 inches, but when I put them on, I felt like the Sam Edelman had a slight, like ever so slight more width, which I guess I can see the tiniest bit of extra length there. But these do also have a little bit of stretch and give to them at the top. And then they do have a half zip in comparison to the Vince Camuto. Here is how they compare side by side. I would say they're pretty comparable, but the Vince is obviously cut much more pointed and I would say slightly more narrow on the Vince Camuto. Um, size wise, these run bigger than the other options. So for the size nine, I have a lot of room in mine and I feel like I could have definitely got my truer eight and a half in these and still had room for a sock. So I don't necessarily think I need to size down in these because again, I personally like my boots to have a little more room. I don't like for them, especially if they have a pointed toe, to pinch here. But if you do have like a very narrow or if you're in between sizes, I would say to size down. And then I just pulled out, this is the Ollie boot from last year in the Nordstrom sale. This was the top selling knee high boot in the sale. So I just wanted to do a side by side comparison comparison in case you're curious on the colors. This one is a little bit more of a gray undertone to it. So you can see there. And then it also is taller as well. So let's see. So then you can see there the Ollie boot is definitely much taller, but it also slouched a tiny bit more. These don't really slouch when you put them on. All right, let's shift gears and talk about the sneakers. First sneaker, this is the On Cloud Swift Run sneaker. And this I'm not sure if it's going to be available. These have definitely been the favorite out of the sale as far as sneakers go. They do have a couple different styles. Personally, I have tried the darker gray style in the sale and I didn't love how they fit with my arch. I felt like it set back too far and just I had pressure under my foot. So those didn't work for me, but these are definitely um, much more comfortable. These come in three colors. This is the gray. They also have a green and then a little bit more of a rust color. These have a more like rigid bottom. I wouldn't say they're like super firm, but compared to like the Ultra Boost and the Nikes, definitely have more of a rigid support underneath. So size wise, they say that these run true to size. Um, I find that they run a little bit smaller. So typically I do like to size up a half size in sneakers so sometimes i wear like a nine and a half so i actually reordered these in a nine and a half because i felt like they were a little snug for me so i would say if you're in between sizes to go up a size so in comparison to that this is my ultra boost pair and these fit a little bit more wide and these are also bigger as well so when you compare them these are both size nine but you can see the ultra boost is definitely longer although these are turned up a lot more so i think that is something to consider like you can see how much more turned up the on shoe is which makes your foot look tiny if i'm being honest so if you're into like finding shoes that make your foot look tiny these definitely do that the ultra boost definitely don't do that i would say the adidas still runs a little bit bigger so generally i would say to size down a half size from your normal sneaker size so i do have these in a size nine they're really really comfortable they were great for pregnancy if you're going to be pregnant looking for a comfortable padded shoe i just easily slip mine off and on and again they feel like clouds they're so comfortable and then the other sneaker i picked up i was just curious to see the color of these but i honestly do plan to return these asap just in case someone else wants these um, but i love the color of them I just don't need two sneakers. So I'm sticking with the on shoe, but these are really beautiful. And these are more of a barefoot style, I would say. They didn't have as much, they have good arch support, but they don't have as much, like they're not as rigid as the on shoes. The Ultra Boost are also like pretty flexible as well, but I would say these are the most flexible shoe. And these are more of like a sock slip on type of shoe. So they're really stretchy. They don't have a ton of like, material on the top of your foot so they're great for summertime and out of all of these i would say these had more support for a higher arch which i definitely have a higher arch these run a little bit small with this type of shoe i would probably just 
honestly wear them barefoot because it's kind of like a slip-on sort of sock shoe but if you do plan to wear thicker socks i would recommend a size up a half size these two styles are pretty comparable in price these are 109 in the sale and these are 103 in the sale the other on shoes are i believe 99 so they're a little bit more affordable but like i said personally those I did I didn't find them comfortable on my foot. The Ultra Boost are the pricier sneaker option in the sale. These are currently 134 in the sale, but they retail for 180, which I bought mine for 180. I use them every single day when we go for walks and I've repurchased them multiple times, so they are just like a go-to of mine, but if you are wanting to try them, this is definitely the time to give them a try. I also want to make mention, this is not the color that's included in the sale. I will link to this color. I purchased them recently at Nordstrom and they were recently price matched. I shared that sale over on my Instagram on Wednesday. So if you're not following me on Instagram, that's where I share some really good sale alerts. So give me a follow over there. I'm not sure if they're still price matching, but they do often do that. So if you want this color specifically, I guess you have to buy in full price or hold out for a sale. I have just a few heels to share with y'all first. So I wanted to talk about the Dolce Vita heels included in the sale this year. I did not purchase any because I have these, but I did try them on in store and I actually found them to be a little more padded than these. Like somehow they were even more comfortable. I think maybe like the material on top was even softer. I don't know. These are extremely comfortable. I have had mine for over a year. They're really versatile can kind of like dress them up, dress them down. So if you've been eyeing the Dolce Vita sandal, you can get them right now for $79. They're regularly $125. The other heel I got is this adorable bow little blocked heeled sandal. They also have these in a pump. If you are looking for workwear pumps, those are very pretty. I love the bow detail, but I thought these would be more wearable. They're a really comfortable heel height. The heel on these is two and a half inches. It's a blocked heel, so these are very comfortable. Um, really well-made shoe. They're from Ted Baker. In the sale, these currently retail for $114, and after the sale, they will go up to $170. These do run true to size because they are open toe and they're not a super high heel. I won't have to worry about like my foot sliding forward or anything. So so I did get my normal eight and a half in these. And if you're looking for a lowered heel option compared to these, I thought these were really pretty and they're actually really well priced as well. They are $79.98 in the sale and they'll go up to $118 full price after the sale. This is the color Honey Beige. They also come in five other colors. They have a lighter neutral in the color Eggshell. There's a black, there's an orange color, and then they also come in patina, which looks like a gold color. There is also a similar option to this at a slightly higher price point. I believe those are from Rebecca Taylor. They look very similar. Those only have two straps, however. I thought the three straps were interesting here because I do have a lot of double strap shoes, so I thought that would be a good way to mix them up. These are very comfortable. They're padded, but they're not like ultra squishy, if you know what I mean. Like some of these are very like super soft. I would say these still have some structure to them. They stretch a little bit. They do have stretch through there. Next, let's talk about the Steve Madden chain meal. The, these have been a repeat in the sale the last few years. So they went with this matte twisted chain through here. This year they have them in six different colors. I love that they added this mauve color and they also have a fun plaid version as well this year in the sale. These retail for $95 full price and during the Nordstrom sale you can get them for $65. So in slides I do personally like to size up as is and then knowing this is Steve Madden which typically runs smaller to me I just assumed the nine would be perfect. This type of style shoe is a really good transitional piece from summer to fall because it's closed toed but still not fully enclosed. So it's great if you live in a warmer environment where you don't want your foot to like be suffocating. I find that I reach for my mules most in between seasons. And I definitely have to mention these are a very similar look for less on Amazon for much less. I think these are like $35. So I just want to point that out. These also come in a bunch of colors as well. And I did also size up to these 
to a nine. Obviously the main difference is these don't have the matte chain, but comfort wise, these have a little bit more comfort and obviously the quality is also a little bit different. These are leather. There are some colors that are in a suede, but I do wanna mention the mauve is a leather material. One shoe I don't have yet, sadly, to include them in this video, but I did want to highlight them to y'all because they're a really great price point. It's this Open Edit Flat Mule. I tried these on in store and was actually surprised how comfortable they were. When I saw these online, I just kind of scrolled past them because the way they're cut on the top of the foot, I they looked like they would be hard to stay on the foot. I just felt like they would flop around because there's not a ton of support across the top of the foot, but I was actually pleasantly surprised how easy these were to walk in and they are also extremely soft and comfortable. I would say compared to the Steve Madden, they're definitely like a more cushiony version of those. So if you're looking for something different, definitely check those out because they're really reasonably priced in the sale right at $49 or right under $50. Full price after the sale, they'll go up to $70. So this is giving you a saving of 28%, which is great, but not like the biggest savings, which isn't surprising since these are a more affordable option. They have some fun colors in this shoe as well. So they have the tan mocha, pink storm, blue mineral, and black. Um, and they all have the gold kind of braided, almost like a bow detail. Online reviews are saying that these run small and they recommend sizing up a half size, which I normally always do in slides anyway. So I did order my true size nine, crossing my fingers that they fit. If you're looking for quality work flats, these are the version from Cole Haan. In the sale, you can get them for 99 and after the sale, they're going up to 155, giving you a total savings of 35% off. Kohlhan is a really great quality brand. I feel like you can trust them with the materials they use and the comfort levels. So these have good arch support. They do have some padding in the shoe and I like that they have this slight heel. Definitely nothing too much, but if you're someone who can't wear super flat shoes, these are a good one to consider. They have this little cutout detail here, and then of course, the darling little bow on top. I originally bought these in a size nine, and they are way too big. So I would say these do run very true to size. If you're in between sizes, I would size down. In the sale, these come in four colors. They have black, leopard, cognac, they're calling it a light whiskey suede, which is the color that I have. And then they also have a red, like a bright red suede color as well. And then another work shoe in the sale is this one from Sam Edelman, which doesn't disappoint again, like I said earlier, as far as comfort. I ordered these in a size nine because of the point. I was a little nervous about them, but they are way too big. So I would recommend to size down if you're in between sizes. Um, I almost wonder if an eight and a half may be too big. So I can't really speak to too much as to whether these are comfortable or not because my foot was moving around so much. Um, I always like to make sure that they're comfortable on like the heel and things like that. So sadly, I can't really give you an accurate review on the comfort of these. But quality wise, they're a really soft leather material. They do have some padding to them, not as much as the Cole Haan. I feel like those are a little bit more supportive. And these are also more of a true flat as well. So those are all of the shoes that I have to review <laughs> for you in today's video. Hope you found it helpful. Let me know what shoes are on your wish list or what shoes you picked up this year in the sale. Thank y'all so much for your feedback on in sale week. I'm so glad y'all have been loving the daily uploads. I have been loving it too. It's been like a whirlwind. So I'm definitely glad that we're almost at the end of it. We have one more video coming tomorrow, which are going to be my top 10 favorite purchases from the sale. So you won't want to miss that video to see my favorites out of everything that I've tried. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.